Happens every year this time, getting a lot of questions. Is it time to plant? Is it time to plant? And of course, that depends on where you are, basically on latitude, north to south, and that's not always true. You get in the Smoky Mountains, it may be warm enough, you know, over in the Piedmont of North Carolina, but not warm enough on top of Old Baldy or another big Smoky Mountain. So you gotta take it where you are, but you're looking for, if you're planting most warm season crops, summer crops, soil temperature of about 60 degrees. But there's other considerations. What's your mission? Well, my mission is, one of my missions is to not have to use fertilizer and not have to use herbicide. Those are huge cost savings this year. And along with that, I've got a great crop here, some seal grains, clover. Well, guys, deer and turkey are feeding on this. Turkey's also feeding on the bugs out here. Man, I mean, if I kill it all right now, I'm just telling the critters, hey, you need to go over here to my neighbors. You need to go this way. So I don't want to clean the table. Clover's not blooming. The small grain, this is cereal rye, most of you see in, is not making a seed head. It's not even in the boot stage. And the boot stage is if we pull a stem up and kind of peel it back, we'd see that head forming in the top. We're not there yet. When these plants are mature enough to make a seed in the dough stage, they're not very palatable for deer. The clover have blooms all over it. It stopped putting off new little branches everywhere to seal rise. It's in the stem stage, it's not palatable. Makes that seed in the dough stage. It's easy to terminate with the crimper, not just driving over it, but a crimper. You gotta break that circulatory system every few inches. I've already drilled through it. Don't crimp first and try to drill through it. That's like trying to comb really tangled hair. Boy, it's tough to cut through it. But if you crimp, when your crop is standing up, it just goes through it like perfect hair. It just go right through there, put the seed in the right place. Another advantage of crimping, let's say your seed doesn't get quite all the way buried in soil. It's not that perfect half inch deep, it's a quarter inch deep. You got four inches of mulch on top there. The sun's not hitting that seed, it's keeping it moist. It's most likely gonna germinate, put a root in the ground and go to town. It's gonna grow just fine. So not time to plant yet, especially here, most of Arkansas, south of there, and all the way north, it's not time to plant yet. We're late for frost seeding in most places, and we're too early. Now here's a little secret. You wanna plant about 60 degrees at 9 a.m. at two inches deep. You know, man, I can't get to my hunting lease when it's you know 9 a.m. every day. I can't either, I travel a lot to assist landowners. We're gonna share a website, it's free, a website, you know, on the screen here or in the link if you're watching on YouTube, that's a free site and you can just put in your zip code and it's pretty accurate. I've tested it with my heat gun, my thermometer, my infrared thermometer, and it will tell you the temperature and it will also tell you a running average, a five-year average and a 10-year average. So this year when I look at it, you know, it's up and it goes down and it's up. If you plan on it's up, because you're jumping the gun, oh my, the soil temperature's almost there, I'm gonna go ahead and plant, I got some time this weekend, I'm gonna plant. And then the soil temperature drops to 40 degrees, and those seeds are wet and super cold, some of them can die. So you wanna see that soil temperature where you want it and trending up, and you look at the weather forecast and west of you, because fronts usually come from the west, it's warm. Just because your soil temperature finally got to 59 and a half degrees, but it's snowing in Oklahoma here, I'm not gonna plant. I want that front in Oklahoma to pass through here, let my soil temperature go up. And you see that in you know the 30 day chart here, it's been up, down, up, down, but it's trending up. And a real important thing is look at that five and 10 year average. That's gonna tell you, oh, it dropped down, but our average is up here, it's probably going on up. So check your weather, look at that five and 10 year average. And then, Seeds need moisture, right? They need to be warm and moist to germinate quickly. You can just flip the slide there on this website and it will tell you the same thing, your five and 10 year average for soil moisture and where you are now. We've recently had a couple of light rain events and you see that we've been dry, but a couple of little events. Moisture is lower than average, but it'll come up some on a rain event. Start going back down, come up some. It's a great tool for those of us that are busy or maybe you're an absentee landowner, your hunting lease is way off, to check out when the planting conditions are right. Don't plant yet unless you're pretty far south. I know we're all eager. And remember, don't destroy this good food. As clover gets bigger and bigger, more limbs are shooting off. 
recent research has shown that we're actually being wasteful when we mow clover and try to, oh, I'm gonna get some fresh growth. You will get some fresh growth, but as that plant gets bigger and bigger, those stems are putting off new little stems, new leaves, and because the plant's so much bigger, there's actually more tonnage of that fresh foliage. So mowing's not a good thing for clover. That research is published now. Some great work from uh, one of Dr. Craig Harper's graduate students and out of Craig's lab, just doing some great work down there, Craig. We want this to grow up and get mature, make a doe seed, plant through its standing, crimp, it's gonna be 60 degrees or warmer at that time. Deer be eating this as the new crop is coming up. Deer never needed to leave the property and they had good groceries every day. The more I learn, the more I realize I don't know, and I realize I was doing some things backwards or not as efficient as they should have been years ago. That's kind of true for all of life. One thing I know is that none of this happened just by happenstance. It just can't. There's all kind of mathematical formulas that didn't. There was an intelligent design. Of course, that was God, and God sent his only son, Jesus, so we could have a relationship with God. And I would encourage you to take some time after, you know, you've maybe you've been out here and you're understanding more about the soil and how complex it is, how it's all fitting together. Realize there's an intelligent design and spend some time being intentional about knowing our creator and his plan for your life. Thanks for watching Growing Deer.